Hi there. Welcome to the Staylink quick install video. This video was created to show you how to install Staylink in the simplest way possible onto your mobile and vehicle mounted devices. My name is Jeremy. I'm part of the technical team here. And I'm going to walk you through how to download our software, how to prep it for install, how to get it configured to the way that you like, and how to actually install it on a device, step by step. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to our website at www.stay-linked.com. Once you're at our website, you'll see some options along the top. Just find the Support tab and then click on the Resources Downloads Portal. When you do, it will ask you for your user ID and password. If you don't remember either one of those, just go ahead and email us at support at stay-linked.com or you can call us at the phone number at the bottom of the screen. If you do remember it, simply type in your user ID and your password and then hit login. This will take you to your support portal homepage. This is where you download all of our software, the server components, the administrator, and the one that we care about, the device and client software. Simply find the manufacturer of the device you're looking to install on, and when you click on it, it will bring up a list of all the devices we support. Here you can download our client software and the user guide and install guide off to the right. When you click on the client software, it will ask you to download a zip file containing all the components. Simply click OK when you're ready, and it will download into your default downloads folder. If you don't remember where that is, you can go to this download page, right click on the download and go open containing folder, and it'll show you where it put it on your computer. Now let me stop for a minute and explain what it is you just downloaded. That zip folder contains all the necessary files to install Staylink onto one of your devices. However, a zip folder, unlike a normal folder, compresses all of the files inside of it to make it smaller and easier to download. If we want to use these files to install Staylink onto your device, we first have to extract all of those files out of the zip folder and return them to their original state. So that's what we'll do right now. As you can see, I've taken that zip folder and pulled it out onto my desktop to make it easier to see. Now if we click on it, we can see all of the files that we're going to need to use. But like I said, these are compressed versions of them. They're not the actual files. So what I'm going to do is click on this Extract All Files option on the zip folder. When I do, it'll bring up a Windows wizard, and I just follow all the default buttons, and it will create a folder with all the extracted and decompressed files on my desktop. Now if you don't have that option readily available to you, there is another way to do it. All you have to do is create a second folder right next to that zip folder. In this case, I'll create one and just call it install. And then all you have to do is open the zip folder and then open that other folder that you just created put them side by side, go back into the zip folder, and highlight all of the contents. Then just drag everything from the zip folder into that folder you just created, and it will automatically decompress and copy those files into that new folder. And that'll essentially do the exact same thing. Now that we have all those files extracted and ready to use, we can look at what's in that folder. When you open it up, you'll see a bunch of text files and configuration files, but there's really only one file that we care about in here, that's setup.exe. This is the quick install option. So go ahead and connect your device to your computer. On my computer, I'm going to be using Microsoft ActiveSync, but if you're running on a Windows 7 computer, you're going to use Windows Mobile Device Center. It's slightly more advanced, but essentially does the same thing. Once your device is connected, go back to the folder where you extracted all those files, and double click on that setup.exe. When it runs, the first page you're presented with is the Staylink user agreement. Simply confirm at the bottom that you agree to our terms and it will present you with two options at the very bottom to verify free storage on the device and to install the device management component. You don't have to do either but I'll demonstrate doing both here in this video. When I check those boxes, I'll just hit install. The first thing that's going to do is verify free storage and then ask me to confirm the install on the device. 
when I hit OK, it'll present me with a configuration panel. Now, on here, under server IP, simply type in the IP address or the DNS name of the Staylink server that you've installed. The server port is set to 3006, and that's usually OK as a default. Under the Miscellaneous tab, you'll see five options, Auto Connect, Auto Run, Application Lockdown, Full Screen, and Extended Keys. If you want to find out how each of these work, simply download the user guide where you download the Staylink software. Once it's configured to your liking, simply click OK down at the bottom of the configuration window. When you do that, it will generate a configuration file and then immediately start installing the first part, the device management component. Now, if you're running on a Windows Mobile 6.5 device, it's going to ask you for a default install location. Simply follow all the defaults, click OK, let it install on the device, and then it will ask you to confirm. Go ahead and confirm it, go back to your screen, and click OK. When you do that, it will immediately start installing the actual Staylink software onto your device. Now again, on a Windows Mobile 6.5 device, you have that added step of telling it where to install. Again, follow all the defaults, click OK, let it install, confirm the install, and then go back to your computer screen and click OK. At that point, you'll be presented with a message to disconnect your device from ActiveSync. Disconnect your device from your computer, and Staylink will automatically pop up, and you're ready to go. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this demo video, and I hope it's been helpful. If you still need more information on Staylink and how to install it, you can simply go back to where you downloaded the original Staylink software, and off to the right, you'll see a user guide and an install guide for the device you download the software for. The install guide will go over on paper what I've done in this video, as well as some more advanced install options. The user guide will explain how to configure Staylink so it does exactly what you're looking to. If you have any questions or concerns, we're at your service here at StayLinked. We can be reached at support at stay-linked.com, or we can be reached by phone at 714-918-7817.